Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today we're going to do a very simple video on changing the battery in my 2013 Honda Odyssey EXL. It's very similar to other Honda Odysseys as well too. So let's get started. The first thing you noticed in my particular model year is the battery is underneath the air intake. So that causes a little problem over here. So first of all, it's very hard to get to now that it's stuck under the air intake. What should I do? Well, first of all, you need to buy the battery, of course, before you even can replace the battery. So that's my battery over here. It's the Max Everstart 24F with 750 CCAs. And by the way, when you buy battery, buy the one that's the newest, closest one on the shelf. So by that I mean you don't want a battery you've been sitting on a shelf for long, long periods of time. So you get the freshest one. That's always the best thing to do. So once you have the battery, then you're going to get started on changing the battery. Changing the battery is pretty easy. Uh, this particular one does have a handle, so you have to accommodate for that. So the thing you need to do is actually remove the air intake. The air intake, you know, basically has two screws holding it. This one, and it's going to make it nice and tidy. You can't get to the battery unless you replace it. You have this one and the one on the right, which I'm going to show you just a minute from now. Okay, so first, you, to pop the screws out, use a flathead screwdriver. Pop the top part, and this is the other screw over here. I'm going to pop the top part as well and pull it out. And I like to use gloves, I wear gloves when doing this stuff because not only that's dirty, the batteries are pretty toxic as well too. So, I'm gonna pull it out. Actually, I do have a push pin uh, pliers, which I found not that useful in this case because I used a flathead to pull it out already, but you actually can get one of these tools to help you out. Other things you probably need is maybe a wrench and also some pliers as well. So um, to pull this out, you just tuck a little bit and the air in intake will come out and you can get to your battery. I'm going to show you a little bit about the battery as well. It's an OEM battery uh, with sold by Honda. See, it's very simple. Tuck a little bit, pull it out. See, that's how simple it is. So to remove the battery, you want to remove the terminals, the positive and negative first, so you don't, you know, get contact. I uh, prefer not to wear any jewelry when doing this change. Then you can remove the, the centerpiece. So the centerpiece, very easy to remove, just uh, once you loosen the, it out, you can use a prior or a socket wrench. The battery that's installed in the original Honda it actually uh, has only 550 CCAs, and I'll show you it right here. There's a little housing I see, actually you see also as well. So you need to move that before you get to the battery to take it out for the protection of the battery and holding it. Okay, so let's uh, take the cover off. There it is. Put that on the side as well. It's just a little plastic cover, nothing too special, I think. And this is the battery that came with the video, a vehicle, I mean. 550, 275, average amp hour, 72. It doesn't have a handle to pull it out, so you have to lift it up. It also comes with a tray in the vehicle, so that you want to leave in there, you don't take that out. Notice there's a, like a wire or something, that's the direction. Next, you put the battery on top, put it back in, the new battery, of course. Here it is. And the next thing you probably want to do is put the centerpiece back in. I found out that uh, having the little carry-on thing for the battery, you know, it's a little bit harder to put it in. So you have to balance it out when you put the centerpiece back in. Always get the latest one, so you can see that I have the latest one. My battery is only one month old. So my video is pretty new. You probably noticed that when you're viewing that as well too. This is the Everstart Max from Walmart. You can buy other brands as well too, but I found this one's the best I could for my vehicle for the price. Put the terminals back in. You probably want to put some dielectric grease in there as well for the battery. Make sure it's tidy. You want to tuck a little bit. 
cool a little bit and see there's how much give. Shouldn't move much on the battery itself. Should pretty uh been anchored to the vehicle as well too. So you connect all the terminals, make sure it's nice and tight on the terminals. Then you put the dielectric grease on it, which you find at your local auto shop. I'm gonna put the air intake cover back on. I don't know what's the real name of it, but you can post in the comments if you know the real name of that. So it's very simple to do on this part. It's still a do-it-yourself thing. Push the pins back in and push, pop it back in. That's all it is. Since I changed the battery, I took my gloves off. Push it back in. Put it back in here. Okay, now that you got everything back in, you still want to check it's nice and tidy. There it is, the battery is underneath the thing. So once you start your vehicle, you notice that your radio asks for cold. Either you have the cold to your car, there's a little car that comes with it, your radio won't start. But if you didn't touch the, the radio and didn't take it out, you hold the, the radio for about 3 seconds and you start the car. You know, just hold it for three seconds or so because you didn't take the battery out of the car and your radio will start working again. There it goes. So that's pretty much changing the battery in the Honda Odyssey 2013 model, similar to many other models as well. Hopefully you liked the video surprise of the day. Hope it was helpful. Thumbs up. See you next time. Bye.